Well, the appointment of Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Wella has thrown up a new challenge for more women representation in governance. Joining us to talk about this challenge is Aisha Mohamed Oyebade, the Chief Executive of the Muritala Mohamed Foundation. Good evening and welcome to Newsnight. Hello, good evening. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, what uh, the new DG of WTO has just said in terms of a challenge to have more women. Should this challenge be primarily for women to up their game or for men to acknowledge the fact that they need to do more to make uh, positions of authority and power and responsibility be given more to women? You know, I think it's a combination of both. Um, it's really important. Either way is that the women have to be able to position themselves. And um, clearly you can see what um, Dr. Okunje Riala herself has said, that she's qualified to do the job. I think that's really important. But I also think that, yes, there is um, a part that men also have to play. I mean, if you look at um, Beijing was what, 1995? And since Beijing, we've been talking about trying to create gender parity for women in governance. So um, at that time, it was said we were looking for what, 30%. Then they said, and then, you know, our gender policy in Nigeria said we were looking for 35%. Well, believe it or not, Nigeria is at 6.7%. The global the global average is 22.5%. And, um, you know, the even the continental average is 23.4%. So you actually can see that there is a point that we really, really need to up our game um, in Nigeria. And I think it really has to be a combination of both. And let me say this clearly, one of the statements that was made by Joyce Banda, former president of uh, Malawi when she said, you know, if women don't insist on getting a seat at the table, then we are going to be on the menu. Men will talk about us when we're not there. So it is important. And also the main, the decisions that are made that impact women, you know, um, the strategic decisions um, have to be made, not just with women at, at the table, in places like the WTO. And that's why I'm so so excited that we have Dr. Okunje Uyala today um, in that position because she's already talking about how we're going to begin to transform economics. We're going to be more e, um, sort of e-commerce. We're going to be bring it into the um, 21st century because in truth, when you look at trade across the continent, for example, women are actually, as the African continent, are actually literally carrying trade on their backs. We are the ones who cross the borders. We are the ones who all do all the, that cross-border trading. But we've not created enough structures. Okay, uh, very quickly, Aisha, if I may come in very quickly. How then do you think governments at all levels, especially in countries like Nigeria and indeed Africa, um, you know, ensure that there is that inclusivity, whether it's in uh, business, in politics, for the Niger for, for women. And of course, how can women take advantage? How can women, uh, you know, ensure that if they're not just celebrating this woman, but actually step up to the plate? Well, the first thing is that it has to be deliberate. Because what we're seeing is that, you know, um, up till now, um, so there's a lot of legislation that provides for this gender parity, but in actualizing it, it has to be deliberate. There has to be a deliberate decision. Take, for example, in governance, we've never had a woman um, as um, a governor of any state, always as deputy governors, and the numbers are dwindling. The same thing with when you look at, you know, um, we're looking at the highest job in the land, which is the president of the Federal Republic, women are still not being given a chance. So it has to be very, very deliberate. But in terms of celebrating women like um, Dr. Kunji Wella, why is um, important is because then women will now aspire and realize that actually shattering that glass ceiling is achievable because another woman has done it. To the women folk very quickly in 30 seconds. I didn't hear that, unfortunately. I didn't hear that. Okay, question. well, we'll have to leave it there. Aisha Oyebode, thank you so much. Uh, CEO of the Murtala uh, Mohammed Foundation. Thanks for joining us.